Welcome back. Our next guest says this is a critical time for small business, especially when it comes to raising wages. Joining us now is David Dotson, Stanford University management professor and an advisor to a bunch of small businesses. Dave, what are you hearing from them in terms of their main concern right now as we are in this, we hope, post-pandemic period? Yeah, I think there's a lot of confusion right now among business owners because what we have is we've got this short-term effect which has been a massive pandemic, a global pandemic, and incredible government intervention that has just completely mixed up the market. And now small businesses are trying to figure out, okay, what about this is temporary and what is permanent? So, for example, all these job numbers that are flying around, well, it makes perfect sense because you've got some states opening, some states not opening. Some states are ending subsidies, some states are extending subsidies. So that whole disruption is causing the labor markets in particular to be very strange. But what business owners need to think about is like what Gretzky said. Think about where the puck is going, not where it is now. So in terms of where the puck is going, uh, it sounds like you think some of these labor constraints are going to ease, maybe some of these inflationary pressures. But when we talk about a post-pandemic world, what changes and what does that mean for small business? Yes, they will ease because people are no longer going to be paid to fish and they're going to be paid to go back to work. That will change permanently and businesses will open. But there are, as you said, some really interesting permanent labor changes. For example, working at home. A lot of America has worked at home and a lot of people liked it. And so small business owners need to start thinking about, okay, if I want to attract the best and the brightest, how can I make my business such that they can spend some of their time working at home. That's a permanent change in the marketplace that business owners need to be thinking about. Yeah, Dave, we've been focused on that, obviously, for big business because it's also potentially a permanent change. So that's what you're expecting and seeing among small businesses. This hybrid approach is probably going to be the rule rather than the exception. I'm not expecting it. I am convinced of it. There is absolutely no question that that is where it's going to be. Yes, a lot of people are going to work, and you can't serve a taco from home. So, yes, there are parts of the economy that have to be back on premise, but there are so many parts of the economy that don't, and we figured out ways to do it through technology and the way we manage work and the way we communicate, and those those lessons that we learned are permanent, and that is absolutely the case with small business. Dave, thanks as always. Appreciate it. Sorry we had to keep it so short today. That's all right. Yeah, look forward to continuing that conversation at future data.